The California Highway Patrol's Explorer program is designed for young men and women 15 to 21 years of age and allows you to develop the skills and knowledge needed to serve the people of California through discipline and a commitment to serving your community. As an explorer, you'll attend community service events, work DUI checkpoints, participate in ride-alongs in the field, and compete in explorer competitions. Explore your future in law enforcement as a CHP explorer. Hear what our explorers have to say about us. I joined the California Highway Patrol Explorer Post because I knew I wanted a career in law enforcement. I joined the CHP Explorer Post to do something different in law enforcement. I wanted to do something different from the rest of my family members. I joined the Post because I wanted to make a difference, uh, have a little bit more commitment to myself, and to see if law enforcement was actually something that I could do for the rest of my life. I eventually joined because it piqued my interests. I wanted to do something hands-on and I wanted to help people. I had the opportunity to sit on, on some meetings and I liked what I saw at those meetings. And now, looking back, I'm glad I had this opportunity over other opportunities, only because I know a lot more about what we do here at the California Highway Patrol. And in my opinion, it just surpasses the other agencies in many different ways. The Explorer Post taught me to work as a team, to maintain self-discipline, and to keep myself uh, accounted for, and to make sure I'm making the right decisions, and to further my education and continue working towards my future career as, a, as an officer in law enforcement. My favorite part of the Explore Post is ride-alongs. My favorite part about a ride-along, honestly, is being there when the officer gets out of the car and handles the situation. I just like seeing it. Uh, it makes me feel good and humble, in a way. The five years that I've been with this program, the couple of things that I've enjoyed doing is uh, the DUI checkpoints, um, the ride-alongs, but above all else, uh, reading the quote-unquote Bible, which is the vehicle code for the CHP. We've done weapons training and self-defense, so PMA, physical methods of arrest. Mm, we do a lot of PT, a lot of PT, which is fun. For our meetings that we do once a week, we take brevity tests, we take spelling tests, because at the Real Academy, they do so as well. We also train for PT, um, running, and any other physical activities, push-ups, sit-ups, jumping jacks. If you can do a certain, for example, push-up or sit-ups and you can reach that certain goal, um, the rest of the explorers and your advisors would team up and like push you. The way the CHP in this program has actually changed me is to be more confident with myself. I used to second guess myself a lot. It was something that it was always hard for me because every test that I took in school or anything, any life decision that I made, it was always difficult. I always, you know, foresaw everything in the front, but, you know, my mentors such as yourselves and any other officer have actually taught me to be more mature about these um, decisions and to be more reasonable. There, I'm a lot more confident. I could definitely narrow that down. I'm more confident with myself because of this program. Throughout the whole process you're in, any advisor, any captain, sergeant, um, or lieutenant will be um, pushing you to reach the goal you want to accomplish as long as you're there 100%. It's expanding your vocabulary. It motivates you to become a little bit more intellectual. Um, you learn about laws. You learn about certain things that officers do on a day-to-day -day basis. They've actually, you know, sit there and show you how they carry on their day without it, you know, affecting them. And they are willing to actually carry you under their wing and teach you what it is that you do in the CHP. Yes, I've created a lot of friends in this Explorer program. We have uh, another Explorer here, his name is Becerra. He was also, he is a wrestler as well. So when he told me that I went to his school I'm from Banning, from Yukaipa, and we, we wrestled together at practice, went to CAF together, 
So we grew even outside of the post because of similar uh, hobbies of ours. Being around all my explorers and all the officers, the advisors as well, feels like my second home. Actually exposed me to the world in a different way because when you wear a uniform, people see you in a different way. They believe that, you know, they look up to you for help and for answers. And even though you want to help everybody else, when in regular civilian clothing, people don't really see that. And it's something amazing because children, adults, everybody, they look up to you for those answers. A uh, goal for myself in the long run and short run is to become a California Highway Patrol officer. Uh, it's been my goal since I started this program now. I know what I want to do, and I'm going to try to stick to it and work as hard as I can to get there. In uh, five years, I would definitely like to see myself as an officer uh, with the California Highway Patrol and, and working uh, proudly every day and, and excited for what I do. Even if you don't end up becoming a police officer, and you're still gonna learn a lot of skills and you're still gonna have fun. That's one of the reasons I've stayed here for so long is because it's fun, but I'm also still learning. Absolutely, this, this post, I believe, is very beneficial. Even if I wanted to be a firefighter, a doctor, a lawyer, some other agency for law enforcement, they, we're so organized and highly professional here that it, it teaches me so much, and I know it's gonna teach me even more. So whichever path I take, I know for sure it's gonna rub off, and if I don't do this one day and I'm doing something else, I'll, I'll probably catch myself like, oh, I, I learned that when I was in the CHP post, or, oh, you know, I'm this way because of the CHP post. If someone was wondering about joining the program but really didn't know what it was about, I would just say come in and sit in on a meeting. You know, that's really all you can do. You have to come and see for yourself. I did and you know, it here I am now. So